Yeah, we love the beautiful trees when they're standing up, but yeah. then to see the destruction that they can cause when they crash down in these strong winds. And it's just the repetition, too, that's taking such a toll, right, with these storms? Yeah, that, the wet grounds, too, making it so much easier for these trees to topple. I mean, we didn't see a lot of, I mean, we didn't see a lot in the videos, pictures of trees kind of snapped. A lot of these were uprooted. Right. And that was from all the wet ground that we have, too. It just makes it a lot easier for that to happen. I think we'll have another period of some gusty winds tonight, but I do not anticipate damaging winds into the overnight hours. All right. Rainfall reports. Last 24 hours, here's a list of some of them coming in from our area. Arnold up in the foothills picking up just more than four and a half inches of rain. Vacaville, where we had some reports of some high water earlier today, coming in about two and a half inches of rainfall. Davis, nearly two inches of rain. And Sacramento, just more than one inch of rainfall. That was at the International Airport, by the way, the downtown gauge picking up a little bit more than that. So that was a 24 hour take of the rainfall. Now that rain has been focused down to the south across much of Tuolumne County. Up into the higher elevations of the Sierra as well. Uh, otherwise, you go near Highway 50 northward, it has been nice and quiet for now, and we'll take it, allowing a lot of the rivers to recede and lower quite a bit. The northern edge of that rain has been near uh, moving just to the north now, so it's coming into areas like Modesto, starting to see the northern extent of all of that rain. The heaviest has been down to the south from Fresno toward Bakersfield, and look at this. These are flash flood warnings right now that have been in place uh, down toward the Santa. Barbara area, uh, also just north of Los Angeles, because of all that rain uh, causing some significant flooding concerns into Southern California. So here's the big picture right now. You can see that big swirl. This is with that storm system. And right here, those clouds, that's the atmospheric river that we've been tapping into, throwing in plenty of rainfall uh, in our direction. But the next round is coming in for tonight. So out ahead of that, wind advisories. Go back into effect once again, and this is through the overnight, through about one o'clock in the uh, one o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Not damaging winds, but because of how weak some of the trees are, or some of the branches that may have broke off over the weekend, but didn't quite make their way down to the ground. Say they were captured by another branch below, some of those could start coming down um, with some of the stronger gusts. Again, about 35 to 45 miles per hour. I think it's the uh, general consensus here when it comes to the wind speeds uh, during the overnight hours by sunrise as well. And then staying on and off again breezy through the day tomorrow, and that's going to be because of the squalls that are rotating through. So I'll time the out forecast for you. This is 11 o'clock tonight. We're still fairly dry across parts of the area, and then some heavy rain rotates through. These are going to be moving along fairly quickly. So you'll get hit with a burst of some heavy rain, and then you're going to let up quite a bit. And those could have some gusty winds. That's where we will see some of the higher wind gusts moving through. And then heavy snow continues into the Sierra with the snow level is dropping overnight through the day tomorrow and then tomorrow afternoon will be in between on again off again showers and if we break out into some peaks of sunshine tomorrow it could result in some instability and as a result we could get some thunderstorms some of the stronger storms if we do see some sunshine could bring in some stronger wind gusts and some small hail so we will be watching that as we move into tomorrow afternoon otherwise uh, additional rainfall with the tonight's event not expected to be as much as what we have seen over the last uh, day or so but a few more storms down the pipeline that could bring in some more rainfall light to moderate rain at that in the days ahead so tomorrow also a first alert action day but the rest of the week uh, just uh, areas of rain on Wednesday, quieter on Thursday, and then we're going to be in and out again of showers all the way through the weekend into next week.